Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a vintage Park Industries petrol lighter advertising AJ Horn Inc. Chicago, Illinois eyelets, tools, machines. This is a flip top petrol lighter. Pretty cool. Find a little bit of information on the internet. This company is still in business. I don't think that Park has produced lighters since around the 70s or so but this company is apparently still producing their machines. This slider has several blemishes, scuffs, scrapes, scratches, corrosion, dings maybe even bordering on some dents no there was a ding up here maybe you'd call that a dent there on the side of the lid another one there so not a perfect lighter by any means but in very good condition This lighter is marked on the bottom, Park Lighter. It's windproof. I have never seen a dating chart or article or anything like that explaining how to date Park Lighters. If you enjoy watching videos about old petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms please subscribe to the channel please like the video you're watching tell your friends about the channel hit the share button send that link off in a text email post it on social media however it is that you communicate with folks nowadays and let them get a look at it for themselves You can leave any comments or questions below the video. We would also appreciate it if you would follow and like Dependable Flame and DependableFlame.com across all the social media platforms. That'll be Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and of course eBay. Ding and some scuffs there blemish or a ding down here below the tools graphic or text whatever you call that it's not much to it it's not like it's got an image of a lathe or whatever kind of machining machinery that this company made but nonetheless it's uh, still a little bit more intricate than most and at least it is a, a design that is etched into the lighter and then painted not just simply painted or not something that is 
screen printed or anodized onto the lighter. I don't know, maybe it is screen printed. I don't know all the, I'm not an expert on all the different um, processes that they might use to get paint on a lighter. But this is fairly nice for a park lighter. For a company that I believe makes heavy machinery like lathes and things sort of that sort of machinery things like that So I said earlier, it is marked on the bottom, park lighter, it's windproof. It is a brass case. At least the bottom is, I'm not sure. I think it's all brass. And then chrome plated. The insert is marked precision made by Park Sherman, Springfield, Illinois, which would indicate that this lighter, if this is the original insert, was pre-1960 or so when the company moved to Murfreesboro from Springfield. There was some flint damage on the file wheel that I brushed off I haven't done anything to the wick. I did fuel it, put a new flint, and have to drill out the old flint. But it's in very good condition. Doesn't look like it's all scratched up or been corroded or, you know, the metal on the windscreen is a different is a gold tone as opposed to the silver tone of the body this may be made of steel I'm not sure not sure of all the individual metals that looks like it could be aluminum it does not appear to be plated. I'm sure the spring is heat treated steel. But nonetheless, I don't have to identify what the materials are to appreciate it for the quality that it is. And also, as I said, helps us date the lighter to pre-1960 or so seems like after that fact they had a lot of aluminum inserts and even aluminum cases this is a solid lighter make sure you get over to eBay and check out the dependableflame.com store every purchase that you make there will benefit HDSA Huntington's Disease Society of America with at least 10% of each purchase going to that charity. We also have three penny start auctions each month where 100% of the proceeds of those listings go to HDSA. I provide free shipping. High bidder pays the money which all goes to the charity. They get the lighter. Everybody is happy. Looks as though the paint is all there. You may take pictures and find out otherwise. But as best I can see there, it looks like the paint is all there. I'm sure there's some wear to it, just as there are scuffs, scratches, surface, storage type wear to the finish of the lighter. Has the brush finish on the 
front and back and then the high polish around the top bottom and sides while you're over at eBay make sure that you follow or like dependable flame whatever it is that you do over there on that platform so that you get the notifications each time those new listings go up I'm gonna try to start putting up a new lighter every day that's not a promise that's I'm going to try also here on the YouTube channel make sure that you hit the bell so that you're notified each time we publish a new video Until next time.